Security at the White House is under some serious scrutiny after a man managed to jump the fence of the North Lawn and make it inside what is supposed to be one of the most secure buildings in the world. Onlooker Brandon Polanski managed to capture some of the incident on video Friday. You can clearly see the man running across the White House lawn, but you can't make out his face. The suspect was identified as 42-year-old Omar Gonzalez from Central Texas. He was unarmed when he was arrested, and he was taken to the hospital complaining of chest pain. His security breach triggered evacuations. Some staffers and journalists were rushed out of side doors. Uh, a source familiar confirms there was at least one officer outside the front door with a gun drawn, but using his own discretion, he decided not to shoot. The break-in happened literally moments after the president and his daughters left for Camp David. The first lady is also out of town for the weekend, so none of them were home at the time. Gonzalez was reportedly unarmed, although he was stopped and detained. Agents are still combing the grounds for anything that may have been left behind. Well, they want to be sure that this uh, man that jumped the fence didn't drop anything, whether it be a small weapon or chemical, biological element. They want to be sure that the area is what they would call sterile. And although no one was hurt, Representative Jason Chaffetz, who chairs the House of Representatives subpanel on national security oversight, explains this ordeal is far from over for the Secret Service. USA Today reports he called the incident totally unacceptable. Unfortunately, they are failing to do their job. These are good men and women, but the Secret Service leadership has a lot of questions to answer. In fact, just over a week ago, there was another fence jumper incident. A man wearing a Pokemon hat and carrying a toy jumped the fence and was immediately arrested. Last month, a slightly smaller scale breach when a toddler squeezed through the fence, causing quite a stir, but the all clear was quickly given. Those types of incidents have happened hundreds of times in the past, but what's so troubling about this recent fence jumping is that the man made it inside the White House, which is basically unheard of. Rethink it. You can't do things the way you always did them. And uh, they can do it. And the they, issue here is don't ever make this mistake again. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you'll, have fence, you'll have fence jumpers, but they should never reach the resident. The Secret Service has said in a statement it is investigating the incident to make sure the proper protocol was followed. It's still not clear what motives Gonzalez might have had. For Newsy, I'm Jasmine Bailey.